really need to get more European or Japanese in their thinking to get out, to get back into the game? They, you know, it's interesting because they are going to have to, they have a big PR game ahead of them because, you know what, they can catch up in terms of quality, but the general perception will be that European cars are better and Japanese cars are better. So that just tells you they got to go the extra mile when it comes to public relations. But Pat Powell, let's stick up for Americanism. We <laughs> like big cars. We like cars that hold the road, etc. This is a pretty is, are they, car. They're not gone forever, no, are they? It's a pretty car, and it does come in other colors. You know, you don't have to just take the one color. But Cadillac, I, besides this particular car, Cadillac represents that American big size. Does yeah. that have a future at all, or are we stuck with the small cars forever? Well, I, you know... I don't know whether we're going to go back to Cadillacs or not. I kind of think of Cadillac as my father's car, not necessarily as, as my car. And I think that that's a perception that, that Detroit has to overcome. But I think becoming Car of the Year on Motor Trends magazine is a big deal. There's a, they have 1.1 million car aficionados. My husband is one of them. He is going to be salivating over this car when we go home. What do you it, drive? What do I drive? I drive an Acura. Okay. And what does your husband drive currently? A Mercedes. Okay. See? Well, there. And, and why? Is General Motors down again? It's down another, uh, you know, two percent, I believe. It, you know, it doesn't you know, matter. There's great news about Cadillac yeah. and GM's down you know, it's, again. It's troublesome. It's a capital well, intensive. Back zero, zero percent financing. Okay. I don't know if that has anything to do with it today either. You know, it just maybe a sign <laughs> of desperation. Labor costs. It's a capital intensive industry. It's very difficult to turn a buck in, the, in this industry. Okay. And that's is, why. is Peter Schiff still with us? No, I don't think so. I'd, I'd love to know what car. kind of car he drives. We'll, we'll get an answer to that. I Bring know. It back to it is. I know. Eric, okay. Is what, what does he drive? He drives a convertible Who's BMW, that? and he also has a Saab. I know that because my kid plays with him. Oh, kids. Peter, you're Peter. there. I just outed you. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. You don't drive American, Peter. Well, you know, I can't help it. You know, I mean, if they if they make a car that I actually wait a minute, you know, my ex-wife has a Cadillac. Oh, oh. So when, when we were when we were married, we bought that car. Is so. that what, is that why she's your ex-wife? <laughs> no, well, she she liked the Escalade. I don't know. She wanted it. We bought it. Gas guzzler. Well, Eric, Eric I mean, you look at it. You look at say, for example, the Escalade. They're coming out with a hybrid version of it. Supposedly, a, are they getting smart? No, no. I'm sorry, but these hybrids <laughs> don't pay off. I mean, you do the math on this. Unless you drive 25 thousand miles a year it you can't yeah. even pay for a hybrid over the next 10 years and frankly yeah, the it, GM cars don't last 10 years Sorry, if you own a lot of oil stocks you can afford it <laughs> <laughs> I, I, bu I bought I put extra money in oil the day we bought that uh, that Escalade <laughs> well, and actually, oil was still about 30 bucks a gallon or 40 dollars I think so. I have a Chrysler 300 yeah. which is a cute car but a terrible engine <laughs> and I have a navigator that I drive on the weekends with the family. Oh, that's a guzzler. It is, it is. But you know what? I love the safety. When I'm in there with my kids, I've had people hit me in that thing without a scratch, and their car was like an accordion. So I feel like I pay more for gas, but I feel great Can't that my kids are safe. Can't you just see Charles going, ah, <laughs> Oh, but I don't use a rear view mirror either, you know, because when I'm in that thing, I'm the king of the road. <laughs> All righty, gang. All right, so I guess the consensus is yeah. Stay away from the stocks. General Motors at a 52-week low today. Yeah. Is that a pick? up opportunity, Peter? Huh? Is that a buy on the dip? <laughs> no, you no, go. stay away. Stay, stay away. 4-2. <laughs> it's nice to see Peter smiling, smiling. isn't it? I try yeah. to